technology, we use microscope slides all the time to peer into the hidden world of all things teeny tiny. I still remember the excitement when my teacher would open a box of slides. What were we going to see today? Mouse brains, insect antennae, sea creature guts, plant roots, bacteria, and protists. Microscope slides are usually, you know, just given to us during class, and our job is to record and draw and observe what we see. But ever wonder how they're made? For super small and translucent organisms like diatoms and tardigrades, you can pretty much just slap them on a microscope slide and you're ready to go. But for chunkier life forms, the process is a little more involved. In this video, I'll give a broad overview of how to make microscope slides using flower buds, but the general steps will be pretty similar across organisms and tissue types. They are fixation, embedding, sectioning, and staining. Let's get started. Fixation is the preservation of tissue using a chemical fixative, which will prevent breakdown and decay of our flower buds. To fix my flower buds, I'll be using a chemical called FAA, which is a mixture of formaldehyde, alcohol, and acetic acid. But there are lots of different fixatives out there. Fixatives are usually quite toxic, so I'm doing this step in the fume hood, and I've put my FAA on ice because cold temperatures help preserve the tissue better. Then all I have to do is pick some flower buds and throw them in. I'll let my buds shake overnight in cold FAA to make sure they're nice and preserved. Following chemical fixation, the next step is to embed the tissue. Today we'll be using paraffin wax, but you can also embed tissue in resin or gel depending on what you're trying to look at. Here are the flower buds in melted wax. It took multiple days and many different chemical washes to gently and gradually transition them from the FAA to the wax, but we made it. Embedding involves putting each of these buds in its own wax cube. To do this, I'm using an embedding machine, which is really just a fancy cold plate and a hot plate. Here are the buds in a tray on the hot plate. I'm going to pour more hot wax in a cube mold. Use forceps to place a bud at the bottom of the mold and make sure the bud is laying nice and flat. And then transfer the whole thing to the cold plate so it can solidify. Once they're solid, it's time for sectioning. This is the step where we're actually going to make the microscope slides. I'm going to take my blocks out of the cube molds, and you can see the bud is just below the surface here. I'll attach them to these cassettes with more hot wax, and once they've solidified, I'll trim them so the face of the block is just a little bigger than my flower bud. Then I'll bring them to the microtome, which is basically the deli slicer of science. Let me show you what I mean by that. I secure the block in the microtome and then start to turn the wheel. And this is going to move the block up and ever so slightly forward so that when it comes down, this very, very, very sharp blade here will make a super thin slice of the block. We call this slice a section and it's only a few micrometers thick. And I'm gonna keep turning the wheel to make more sections and they'll stick together and soon a ribbon of sections will form. And you can see the flower bud slice suspended perfectly in the wax. Behold the powers of the Deli Slicer of Science. Now comes what I think is the most magical part of the process, transferring the ribbons to the microscope slides. I've laid out my empty slides on a slide warmer and pooled water on top, which will get warm too. I've chopped up my ribbons into slide-sized pieces, and then using a dowel, I can pick up the ribbons and float them on top of the water. The heat will relax the wax and smooth out all the wrinkles. Next, I'll wick the water away so the sections will lay flat and stick to the glass. Aren't they so pretty? I'll leave them in the slide warmer overnight to dry. The fixation and embedding process tends to remove pigments from tissue, making our sections very difficult to see. So we need to perform one last step to make everything visible again. Staining. The science of tissue staining is vast and wonderful. You can choose stains that will highlight certain tissue and cell types, and enhance your ability to observe microscopic features. Today we'll be using a stain called toluidine blue, which will stain our plant tissue blue, mostly blue. It does have the ability to stain different cell types some different colors, so we'll see how our sections turn out. So here are my slides in a handy slide rack, and I'm putting them through a series of chemical baths to wash away the wax and get them ready for the stain. Then it's toluidine time. We just dunk the slides right in there for a couple minutes and then rinse, rinse, rinse till the water runs clear. And ah, look at that. The sections are so visible now. They're so beautiful. After a few more chemical baths, I glue down a glass cover slip 
to protect the sections and then let everything dry. And now the moment of truth. Let's pop them on a light microscope and see how they look. Yay, it's a flower bud. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy with how this turned out. So let's get oriented. These sections are more or less right down the center of the bud so we can see all the floral organs. Sepals are on the outside, then petals, stamens. Those are the pollen grains starting to form in there then staminodes, and finally pistils. You can see the ovary and the little bumps are ovules. And how did our toluidine stain do? Well, at this magnification, pretty much everything looks blue, but let's get a little closer. Okay, nice. So the toluidine sets up a really great contrast between nuclei, which it stains blue, and the rest of the cell, which it stains more purpley. And over here, ooh, this is different. So these are xylem cells. They transport water through the plant and have a super strong cell wall made of a molecule called lignin, which toluidine stains green. And they have this kind of slinky shape. It's so cool. So those are the bands of lignin that wrap around. And oh, oh my gosh, look at this teeny tiny flower bud. Oh, it's so early in development that all of its organs are just little nubbins at this point. Hmm. I love it when microscopy is cute. Well, that concludes our brief tour of how to make a microscope slide. The next time you look at one in biology class, I hope you'll take a minute to appreciate the effort and artistry that went into creating it.